Okay guys, I've needed a good set of snap ring pliers for years. I've got a handful of snap ring pliers that I've bought over the years. Um, the only ones I remember actually buying, believe it or not, are these Craftsman's. And they, uh, if you've never seen a pair of snap ring pliers like this, they're internal and external depending on where you put this little lever. But they're... Uh, if you've got a stiff snap ring, you're going to be fighting it to try to get it on and off with this set. Now, I've, I've used this many, many times, and I've gotten lucky on probably 90% of the jobs that I've needed to remove snap rings. The other 10%, I've had to find another pair of snap ring pliers. I uh, bought a little set of these. I got four of these. Uh, these are Tecton. They make decent stuff. These are probably the next best uh, other than those craftsmen's got some little finger snap ring pliers for little tiny uh, snap rings don't remember where I bought these at they're universal also not universal but they're internal and external depending on what side what side you have this arm piece put on if you have it over here you can put it on these two studs if you have it up here you put it on these two studs and then you got your internal and external. So then years ago, I bought this heavy-duty set. Um, I actually bought these because of a particular job that I had, and I had a huge snap ring uh, on it, and I couldn't get any of these others to work. So I ended up getting these. This is a very good set. Uh, again, it's internal and external, too, depending on where you've got the uh, button at. And it ratchets. That's one nice thing about this one is it'll it'll lock either open or closed and hold the snap ring for you. Got some different tips in here, different size uh, tips that you put in it. Um, but obviously this is a lot bigger than you'd probably need in a lot of cases. So anyway, finally bought me a entire set, small to large. Uh, Lang has been making snap ring pliers for years. This is their 3495 part number. Um, and this is an entire set, and I'm about to, uh, let me try to, there you go, thirty-four ninety-five. They do claim to be made in the USA. Anyway, let's get these things out of the box. Let's take a look at them. Um, now, each one, this is a 12-piece set, but each one is an internal and external. All the tips are pointed in the right direction. Now, I was a little reluctant. Let me take one of these apart. I'll touch this one. Depending on where you have this uh, screwed in at, for instance, if you have it that way, then it's uh, either internal or external. I forget now. Of course, you got to make sure you get it on correctly. And then you screw it in this way. And then it goes, uh, what is that? That's external. So, uh, but the, and the, they are marked. So this is 38 thousandths tips. Okay, you got 38 thousandths. Uh, this is going to be a 38 thousandths 45 degree. And then this is a uh, supposed to be a 90. They could have been it just a little bit more, but that's close enough. But uh, the one reason I was a little reluctant on these, well, before I get into that, these were 38. These three here are 47. I don't know if you can see the stamped on number. They're a little hard to see. It does say Made in USA on every one of them. Uh, and then you got your 40, 45 and 90. Next one I think is 70. Yeah, 70. Hopefully you can see that. The grips, the handles are uh, nice. They've uh, put some nice rubberized padding right here. So if you really got a, a tough one to get onto, uh, you can at least have a little bit of comfort. And, and again, you got straight 45 and 90, and then you got straight 45 and 90 
on the, I believe these are 90 thousandths, which are going to be pretty good size. That's probably going to be about as large of a snap ring as you're going to use in, in automotive anyway. But the reason I was a little reluctant to buy these is I saw another video that uh, where a guy had bought a set and when he would unscrew his, it looked like they got the screw hole cocked off a little bit. It wasn't, it wasn't true. So, I mean, Lang's got a nice website. They, you know, they, it looks like they would have good customer support. So I thought, well, I'm going to take a risk. Hopefully, if they did have some quality issues, whenever they made his set, hopefully they've got that straightened out. I think that video was at least one or two years old. And I haven't unscrewed all these, but I have opened them all up. I've unscrewed all the big ones, including these three here, and one or two of the small ones, and they all were straight. When I unscrewed them, there was no wobble. There was no uh, nothing that I would say would be out of the ordinary. Now, there's a couple of these that the tips look like they could have used just a little bit more finesse. Um, but it, it doesn't look like it's going to be a problem. I mean, you got to remember that for a, uh, see like this one here is not exactly even. Now when you open it up, I don't think it's going to be a problem once you get down there on the snap ring and you go to close it. I think it's going to be just fine. But when it's completely closed, you can see they're not just completely lined up the way, they, the way, that you, the way you would want them to be. But I don't think that's going to be a problem. Uh, you know, because right there, I mean, they look perfectly even. And whenever you're going to close them up, I think you're going to be just fine. So right now, I don't see an issue with the function of these. Um, but the nice thing about it is this should cover just about any automotive snap ring that you run across. Or like on motorcycles or lawnmowers or, you know, anything like that. Maybe some big, large, industrial, heavy equipment. They've got bigger snap rings, but automotive this is going to be just fine in fact i've got some snap rings right here let's here's the biggest snap ring that i've got um and i don't know that does not look like it looks like it's going to be a 70. let's just see here yeah that's 70. so now uh let's see this yeah let's do the we're, we're going to do the uh, 90. i've got to switch these over Those would definitely get the job done right there. This would be an external uh, snap ring. So it's opening up. You'd have a shaft or something coming through. You'd go down over the shaft and then you'd let it constrict over, you know, inside the groove. And so the reason it's important to know the size is these holes here, you want, you want the biggest snap ring plier you can get in here. For instance, you don't want to you don't want to use this one. You know, this is the 38. You don't want to use this. This this may work. Here, let's try this one. This, I'm sure, will probably open it up. But what you run the risk of is bending your tips or even snapping them off. If, if it's a stuck snap ring and you really go to put some force on it, uh, next thing you know, you've got a broke off tip because this is a 70 thousandths hole made for a 70 thousandths uh, snap ring plier and you're using a 38 or even this uh, this 40 uh, was it 47 which is would be better but still the best one in this case is the 70 the 70 fits that hole just perfect so let's try another one here we've got uh, the next size down and see now this one actually looks like yeah this one's a 90 now this snap ring is just a little bit smaller than that other one, but the holes in it are 90 thousandths. So in this case, I'd want to use 90 thousandths uh, snap ring pliers on this one. That's why you kind of need a, an entire set to, to cover, you know, cover everything you're going to run into, because you just never know 
uh, when you're working on something. Uh, just a little tiny, for instance, let me kind of let me get one of these little small ones. That little thing right there could be an entire showstopper if you are disassembling something and you got a little tiny snap ring that's preventing you from getting something off and if you don't have a tool that can get down inside you know a, a recess to get on there and pop that thing out of there you may be sitting there fighting that trying to get picks and screwdrivers and everything else in there to try to get that off when all you needed was the perfect size snap ring whether straight 45 or 90 to reach down in there and pry, pry that open so you can pop it out of there so a, a good set of snap ring pliers is actually really nice whenever you're in that position to where you need a, a set but anyway this particular set I mean I, you know right now I'm not seeing any issues at all with this set so um, I'm not sure what the warranty is I'll put a link to Lang's website and you can take a look and uh, see what the warranty is I I don't see uh, I don't see anything on here but anyway they are made in USA so you got that I mean better USA than any other country if you're living in the USA now if, you know if you're living in China you may prefer your own country's product but at least Lang is still making these in the, in the country anyway I'm pretty much done just a quick little uh, look at the Lang 12-piece snap ring plier set you guys take care.